Hello students, hope you all are really well and doing great. So we have been learning tech bloomers. So we have already seen and learned few things in part one of the video. So this is part two of the video and we'll be learning the remaining part in this video. For better understanding as well as for easy interpretation, I would have done, I've just uh, given bullet points and the important points that will help you to understand uh, pros easily. So as discussed in the part one of the video, this lesson and this prose talks about the importance of technology and how it enabled disabled people to overcome their dis disabilities. So let's get started. So in part one of the video, we have seen uh, what is the advancement in technology till now, how it has enabled uh, common people life so easier. We have seen who's Alicia and we have also learned who's Kim and uh, the definition of assistive technologist and what is what is a dragon dictate. It is a software, remember, that actually helps and recognize speech and converts it to text. Right. And how did Alicia overcome her dis disability with technology? So all these things we have already seen in our part one of the video. So we are going to learn the remaining part in this video. So let's get started with the part two of the video. So the character that we are going to see in this video is David and he is David. Just like Alicia, David is also affected by cerebral palsy, but this one is a different kind of cerebral palsy, which is known as atetoid cerebral palsy. Actually, this uh, disorder uh, makes uh, the person really worse because they will not have control over their various parts of their body. Like it will sometimes it will automatically be moved on its own. And it, it also varies uh, from different person to person and so because of the disorder uh, he is actually learning to use different technology uh, technological devices such as he starts he started he starts learning argumentative alternative communication eco to with eco point all these things we'll be seeing while going through the lesson so these are the things which you should remember at first because the character that we are going to see is david and he is also affected by the cerebral palsy which is a different types of cerebral palsy and he started learning aec which is augmentative alternative communication that actually helps him to overcome his disabilities likewise this eco2 with eco point also is a device that actually help him to uh, do a lot of activities so which we will be seeing it further in this video so let's start with David. David is actually 21 years old and he feels that technology is so important because it helped him and enabled him to communicate with people and also be independent. So because of that, he feels that he has got the freedom that he has uh, uh, required. So why David feels technology is so important? As we all know, David is born with ethetoid cerebral palsy and because of the cerebral, this uh, ethetoid cerebral palsy, it is very difficult for him to speak or to move from one place to other. So because of the technology and all the devices that he is using it, now it helped him to communicate with people and also not to depend on someone else to do some work. So because of that, he feels so freedom about being so independent. And he also attends a specialist school and college because he is someone who wants to really work hard and do a lot of activities. So we'll get to know more about David and we'll also learn the devices that David has used and how all those devices helped him to overcome his difficulties. So, so he was so grateful because of the technology now he is able to communicate with people and it is it has become very easy to convey what he wanted to convey so to communicate he uses this liberator communication devices actually this liberator communication device looks like this so with the help of eye gaze eye gaze is nothing but you can just simply move your eyes left and right or uh, up and down with the help of that it will just uh, uh, move the slide move the slides or it will 
just show uh, the page that you want to display with the with that we can just uh, select whichever we want to uh, select it and use it so and to control a tv blu-ray and music player he has active controller this helps him to control his tv and blu-ray and play music because uh, we can like normal people can uh, able to go and turn the tv on or to switch on the music but people with disability it is very difficult right so this active controller is like all in the one uh, kind of a remote so where you will have all the access so with the with the help of that you can just control tv blu-ray and music player so blu-ray is nothing but it's a kind of dvd but it is different from dvd because this blu-ray has high definition and highest quality but whereas in dvd you will not be able to get high quality and high definition so we all learned that david was born with ethytoid cerebral palsy so we know the difficulty in ethytoid cerebral palsy disorder because it affects the brain so because of that the control and coordination of the person is totally affected so the people with this cerebral palsy will find it very difficult to move their hands and legs like we do and also it's very difficult for them even to speak so since he has this cerebral palsy david has been really interested in using high tech communication aids like uh, augmentative alternative communication since he was 8 years old so what is this augmentative alternative communication as the word augment suggest it means to add to or to enhance in simple it, it actually help people to communicate especially for people who are not able to speak so we know in the beginning of the prose we learned that there are different kinds of disability is there in india so for different kind of disabled people different kinds of methods are followed to help them to communicate so the methods are like uh, combines gestures eye pointing vocalization and pointing to simple so these are some methods which are used in augmentative alternative communication so in our uh, uh, lesson david is actually uh, he has this ethytoid cerebral palsy right so he can use only his eye movement with the help of eye movement he is able to communicate so when david started using this augmentative alternative communication at first he found it very difficult because it, he has to uh, use a head switch which, which is actually uh, positioned on the headrest of the chair so that required lot of effort to navigate so each time when he wants to operate it he has to hit his head to turn it on or to navigate from one app to another app so he found it very difficult but later when uh, uh, he started using eco2 with eco point i gaze operation and uh, the switch also has been positioned in the uh, mounted on the wheelchair of the foot uh, foot foot uh, portion of the uh, wheelchair so with the help of that now he is able to easily uh, or uh, operate the uh, apps whatever he wants with the help of eco2 with eco point and once he fixes the required icon with the i keys so eco2 with eco point is a device actually that enables uh, the people to access using their eye movement so you just with the help of eye movement you can just locate whichever app you want to turn it on and once you fix it then you can turn uh, with the help of foot switch you can just click it and access the uh, application and use it so this is how he starts learning and using the technology so let's see how david uses uh, communication devices to improve his spare time and free time so during his spare time with the help of this communication device he performs odds and also he plays uh, a lot of sports things like plays regularly football bokai hockey and baseball he is also a sport leader now uh, thanks all goes to this eco2 with eco point because it is connected with the interactive whiteboard
So we know what is the use of this eco to with eco point, right? So this device enable the person to access the app or application with the help of eye movement or eye gaze so with the help of this eco to being linked with interactive whiteboard now he teaches pe lessons and in his screen he also has 144 icons on the screens so with the help of that now he is able to locate whichever application he wants to open it so say for example this is the screen and it has lots of icons here so he will just use his eye movement to locate which application to be opened next. So likewise, with the help of this uh, communication aid, Eco2 with EcoPoint, now he studies GCSE and order food and also communicate at restaurant, even argue with his brothers. So because of this uh, technological improvement, now uh, David is able to speak in a complete sentence. Uh, he is not able to speak uh, like us, but uh, the way that he communicate with the help of communication device, like whatever he uh, uh, try to convey, it will be uh, spoken out. And now he is being it, it, now he has become a competent communicator, which means like his way of communication is totally different, and he is very good in it. So. Another important uh, uh, thing that uh, he has become an advocate or advocate to other students because he, al he also helps other students with disability to uh, show them how to easy uh, how to operate this uh, communication device and how easy it is to operate and uh, uh, communicate uh, successfully and efficiently. So another uh, important uh, application that helps him in various activities or like bespoke bespoke uh, bespoke uh, switch system. With the help of this bespoke switch system, he can control his PlayStation. So this is the uh, bespoke. It, it is one kind of uh, switch system. So this uh, the bespoke switch system will look like this, and he will also be able to use his wheelchair to move from one place to other and uh, eco point i guess system he uses that to communicate and access the computer to check even football and also exchange message with friends about uh, the football update and he, he sometimes uh, he even uses uh, mp3 to play uh, even from morning to evening whenever he gets free time so because of this technology now he has been selected as a part of the remix drama group in opening uh, Olympic opening ceremony team. So it's so great uh, that he has uh, got all this opportunity. So all this uh, thanks goes to this technological improvement that he has found in uh, uh, because of the uh, assistive technologies. So in conclusion, uh, what uh, David says is that technology makes everyone's life is so easier and also it is a boon to the people who have disability. And also technology helps us to keep in touch with our family even if our family stays very far away from us. Now we can even make video call and listen to them, isn't it? And look at them and even speak with them. And he is really thankful to, uh, thankful to uh, Kim because of her. Uh, now technology has made uh, their life so easier. Now David is able to communicate, participate in a lot of uh, sports event and perform art and uh, be independent, isn't it? And also he is able to make friends, communicate, control his environment, even to turn the light on or out. So before the uh, invention or before the technological improvement, he was depending on someone to do even this basic needs, like turning the lights on and turning the lights out. But now the condition is not like that because of the all automated process and the uh, communication aid devices as well as the other devices ACT IV controller all this helped him to control his environment and also technology helped him to get high qualification and find opportunities and more importantly be confident in himself and also be independent so 
let's see with an example how technology has uh, contributed significantly with the world renowned physicist stephen hawking so you all know stephen hawking right you must have already seen in uh, uh, facebook or in many uh, news channel so he is very uh, he is a very important and uh, significant scientist known in the world till date so is the best world renowned physicist physicist stephen hawking is probably the best example of how assistive technology has helped a talented mind overcome physical impairments and contribute productively to the world so we know that stephen hawking had a disabled disability he is not uh, he was actually fine but after some time due to some neurological disorder he had he was uh, really uh, put into a situation where he cannot use his hands and legs so he was using all this assistive technology all this communication device and and overcame his physical impairment or disabilities and he contributed significantly uh, to the world where uh, and he has brought out a lot of theory like a big uh, black hole theory isn't it so we can look forward to more uh, more more inclusive way of learning instead of the claustrated exit existence that most differently able learners had to face in the past newer technology allows differently able learners to learn with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process of learning this this is indeed the new era of learning truly learning for all so what in conclusion it says that we can look forward to more inclusive way of learning right uh, like uh, uh, be before as i told you in my first part of the video disabled people were not included in among the society right but now because of the uh, uh, this technology now they can even be independent and they can be in, in, included uh, among the society instead of this uh, enclosed existent reason it so and also newer technology allows differently able learners to learn with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process so this people with a, a disability they all can uh, collaborate each other like they can uh, one or two more people work together and uh, uh, be productive about new thing and learn many thing whatever they wanted to learn in their life so of course this is indeed the new era of learning and truly learning for all so that's all guys i hope you all understand and if you have any doubts you can uh, contact me so uh, i will give you the questions after you watch the video so make sure you watch the video till the end take care guys bye